Hi, my name is Michelle Leahy. Welcome to Explorers Academy Black History Month. Today, we will be making a quilt block, a practice with the unique connections in the black community in the United States. Gee's Bend is a small remote community in rural Alabama where the women have created hundreds of quilts since the early 20th century to the present. Quilting developed out of necessity, making blankets to keep their families warm, but quickly became an art form. In the early 2000s, after a public exhibition of the quilts at art museums around the United States, the artists and the art styles began to be recognized as a unique contribution to American quilt making. These quilts, made of recycled work clothes, fabric remnants, and feed sacks, are abstract, boldly geometric, and often improvised works of art. One of the popular quilt patterns is the log cabin made of strips of fabric around a central square. This is an improvised quilt. No pattern is needed to get started. To get started on your log cabin quilt block, you need fabric, scissors, a flat surface, thread, needles, pins, a thimble if you wanna protect your fingers, a rolling pin, if you don't have an iron, chalk, and a straight edge. This is my sample square of a G's Bend log cabin quilt. We have interlocking strips around a central panel. If you're a little nervous to get started, you can start with a bigger central panel. My next one, I'm going to do a much smaller piece. You decide as you go how long or how big and wide you want the strips to be. You can make it as monochromatic or include an accent color or as colorful as you prefer. Let's get started together. This time around, I'm going to get started with a much smaller piece. This is a little central hearth and I'm going to add this little gray strip to it. So to get started, you put together two pieces, right sides together, and you pin careful not to prick your fingers. And you take your thread, not the end, and pierce the fabric one by one and accordion it towards your fingers. I try to make my stitches as small as possible so it's nice and secure. This is called a running stitch. It's the easiest stitch to learn You'll notice that we're doing everything by hand. You don't need a machine to do this. Sewing like this can be very meditative. And then you make a knot at the end, so it's nice and strong. Flatten it out. Clip. Ta-da! You've stitched two pieces of fabric together. And you take your second strip, which I pre-cut, and you put them right side together. I'm going to start on the gray side this time. I'm trying very hard to make sure the width from the seam to the edge of the fabric is consistent throughout. See how my ruffle is nice and neat? That makes sure that you have a smooth line. Straighten it out. And knot. This is our quilt block. So a very important step is to flatten out your piece so that it lies flat, it'll make sewing easier. What you need to do if you don't have a iron is open up the stitches so that they lie towards their piece of fabric like this. For my second seam, I've pressed it flat with my fingers but I want it to remember what that feels like when I keep sewing. So I'm 
pressing down with the rolling pin. And I'm opening up the third part, which was my first stitch. For our next piece, I'm going to embrace the improv nature of this exercise. And I'm going to sew on without cutting the initial piece. And then you tie off the knot. So I'm embracing the improv quality of this quilt and I want to cut off about to here, make this side longer than this side. So I'm gonna take my chalk and my straight edge, make sure it's nice and flat, leaving a little extra for your stitches. Gonna straighten out the stitches. This one will be a lot easier than the previous ones. So our hearth needs a fourth part around it. Pin. So I've got my stitch. I'm going to roll it so it's nice and flat and then I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna take these scraps, because this is a scrap quilt, I'm gonna take them and add an accent color with this lovely maroon fabric. So you just keep building around your central square or hearth and keep going until you're satisfied with the size of your piece. If you want to keep going, you can take several of these pieces and build a full-size quilt. If you want to keep your piece small, you can make a pincushion cover or cover a pillow or even the front of a bag. So are you ready to get quilting? That's all we have for today. Follow us to learn more. We have more offerings for Black History Month here in Manatee County.
Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.